the advanced bits. Yeah. Eric, where's Eric? Eric, not you. So, Eric Halkinson, please get up the stage. Woo. All you have to do is connect as a group, use this phone, and look at what I'm looking at. Am I doing that? Is that okay? Just kind of share with everyone around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie Koo, the suit. She got my Eddie Koo, the suit. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Eric, and uh, tonight I'm going to share with you a little bit about the meta, <laughs> about uh, talking about the decade. So I'm going to talk a little bit about where I, the last decade, and maybe the decade to come, and um, what I think what's happening around technology and this type of presentation. Sorry. Again, my name's Eric, <laughs> and I'm, I'd like to talk. This presentation is going to be a little bit. Meta, um, meta as in yeah, meta, quote unquote, because I'm going to talk about talking about talking to you. <laughs> um, and Pecha Kucha is a good meta for haha about trying to talk about how we're using technology to convey our ideas, especially on stage. So I'm going to talk, try to do, we're trying to do something a little bit different. Um, we're doing a little bit of an experiment at the same time around what's happening in the last decade and trying to think about that moving towards the next decade. So, there's a lot of numerology happening tonight, right? Ones and zeros in digital and twos and zeros as in 20 slides, 20 seconds in the year 2020. By the way, happy birthday, 20 years of Pecha Kucha, 10 years of, of, of uh, Pecha Kucha night in Kyoto, right? And um, Pecha Kucha was great because it gave us structure especially for people that don't do a lot of presentations, um, it br brained in this PowerPoint bad stuff that was happening a lot, right? <laughs> the thing about a lot of technologies is we use the old technologies a lot like, a new technologies a lot like we use older technologies came before, right? So um, now I'd like to talk a little bit about the, what's happening right now and what's going on around me, right? So using this as a visual medium, looking at uh, what's happening in the screen behind me has to do a lot about with Pecha Kucha. But in the last 10 years, we also had uh, the iPhone, right? So all the prints, all the radio, all the television got slapped into our pockets and we carried around everywhere with us, right? So had, that had a lot to do with the last decade in the last decade of Pecha Kucha Nidus Kyoto as well. It changed the way that uh, we view media and how we talk to each other. and. What I think is coming around the corner is something, um, without, for lack of a better terminology, the phone on the face era, right? So we have this uh, way of thinking about our reality through our engagements with the world, through our technology, through various means, making our own realities. But as we start, our phones start creeping out of our pockets and onto our wrists and like Fitbits and iWatches and, and spectacles from Snapchat and so on, we're going to start to think about this in slightly different ways. So to quote a famous person in Colorado, I think his name is Mountain Bear, who once saw a double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> what does it all mean? Right? Sorry about the Oyaji gag. <laughs> right? But it's easy to say think immersive technology, which I'm exper experimenting with tonight, which means augmented reality, virtual reality, which we can you can get up on stage and say, it's going to change the world, but what does it really mean? It's hard to really you know, grasp the idea of what's happening with this. So that's why Pecha Kucha, I think, is a good way to think about that um, as far as thinking it as a medium, technology, enhancing the way that, augmenting the way that we present our ideas. So we're not in the matrix. <laughs> Lawrence Visper is not going to show up and ask us to have a blue or red pill. But you have noticed that my slides are a little bit strange. Maybe you noticed a couple of sounds happening behind you. Um, these are not actually slides. They're uh, what's called augmented reality triggers. And these are playing cards that I've designed specially made for computer vision algorithms so they can easily be 
they recognize and differentiate it from each other. So a computer can see them and say, oh, I know what that is, and then do different things with it. So what's happening right now is part of a project that I started developing uh, about six years ago called Orientation, where uh, at my day job where I teach classes at a university, students are connecting digital things to real things through something as simple as a Google form, right? So you take a bunch of playing cards and say, I want a YouTube video to show up, I want a website to be shown when you see this content. So there are people in the audience that are actually seeing, not seeing these cards through their lens in this quote unquote, in the future phone on the face era. They're seeing other content being overlaid on top of it. So what the experiment I'm trying to do tonight is have us start to realize that we're creating our own realities, even though we're sharing the same space in real time together. So <clears throat> I'm hoping, now that you know some of you are actually seeing different content on the screen. So some of you, some people with the phones don't see the slides. They see pictures, they see videos, they see other things. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of FOMO, like fear of missing out. So what I'm hoping happens is afterwards, people that are looking at these, just listening to my words, experiencing that reality, will go up to somebody that looked at, looked at it through an app, through the, ends of, through the lens of this augmented reality, and trying to um, share their experiences and how their reality was different in that context. So overall, I'd like to try and convey this experiment as an idea that our realities are kind of, uh, there's a trend happening here. And one of them I think I see happening, especially from the mobile world, is that we are at the same time getting closer together as a world, but our realities are fragmenting, right? We have a shared reality. We used to watch the news. Uh, we used to come together and have the same information, but we're getting customized information, and that's supposed to be represented tonight with people looking through the app at this, uh, the images behind me, seeing completely different things than people that don't have the app. So some of us think about this technology, think about Black Mirror, right? Like this is a very dystopian thing that might be happening. Um, everyone's gonna be hacked or there are, we might have some bad social things that come out of it. But um, what do we do about it? Um, two simple, very ideas to help us is uh, look up and look inside, right? So if we got our phones, right? We got our, we're in front of it, we're at the mind, just look up some more. And when we start strapping our phones to our face in the near future, in the next decade, we'll have to look inside a little bit more and understand what we're looking at and why we're seeing it. Gosecho <laughs> Okini.